Hi you guys, today we're going to learn how to um, calculate the standard deviation on a graphing calculator. We're going to be using Desmos since we do not have our TI-84 calculators from school. Um, so we're going to be using Desmos. So the first step you're going to do is go ahead and add a table. We're going to go ahead and actually calculate a list of values. So we won't, we'll not be using our X1. So I'm going to go ahead and start entering values. So 22, press arrow down, 99. 102, 33, 57, 75, 100, 81, 62, and 29. So this is nice to have a calculator now because we actually have a lot more numbers that we're going to be calculating the standard deviation for. Um, so it's just nice to actually have a calculator too to do the, a lot of the work for us. So I'm just double checking my numbers that I actually have all of the ones I want to use. And now we're simply going to, um, so if you guys, your keyboard was not there, you just, it's up down here in the bottom left corner. You're going to go ahead and pop that up. And then now we're going to scroll over to our second section here. We're going to go to functions and we want to make sure that we are on stats, which is right here. Once we're on stats, we're going to go ahead and determine our um, sample standard deviation first. So the sample standard deviation is just the STDEV. Um, this will always be the sample one. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And then we're gonna go up and remember what our list was called. It was actually called X1 right there. So we're gonna go ahead and type in X1 because that's where we want it to find it, determine our standard deviation. And there we go, we have 30.43, If we, whatever we we're rounding it to, um, I'd have you guys round it. Now we're gonna go ahead and calculate this, the population standard deviation. So we're going to go to stats, and then this is the STDEV, but with the P standing for population. So we're going to go ahead and calculate that, and from the same list, close your parentheses, and then there we go. We got our 28.87, or depending on whatever I actually have you um, calculate. So that's how you're going to be using your calculator today, and um, I suggest you guys going ahead and writing the steps, or you are welcome to keep this video safe in a safe spot where you guys are going to be able to reference and remember how to determine how to calculate standard deviation by calculator. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, I will see you in class. Bye.